Hello, and I'm still trying to sell my house. And I have the question, are all estate agents the same? Do they just list it on right move and sit there and wait for it to happen? Which was my experience. But um, I've got more to say on that. But before we go through there, let me show you. I have been working in the lounge and so these two big cupboards that were here went yesterday. Wow, finding places to put the stuff. I mean, so you'll have to excuse, it's still a bit chaotic while I find homes for things. But I also got rid of my rugs and look at the space now. You see, I do listen when you tell me to change things. So when we spoke last week, and I told you that I was going to fire my estate agent, which I did. And um, we had a little bit of a to-do, but I managed to get myself completely out of the contract. So, um, next time an agent signs you up in your house and gives you the old push-push sales tactic, and then doesn't give you your contract, you are then entitled to, you would not then know about the cancellation clause in there, which we're all entitled to. So if an estate agent signs you up in your home, you are supposed to get a 14 day cooling off period. And if they don't give you that contract and you don't know about it so you can't use it, the contract can actually be voided. Anyway, that's how I got out of my contract. So when I got released, because I thought I was going to be tidying for another two months, I was talking to somebody at my gym who's probably a lot of wiser than me and he said you've got to get your house back on the market he said otherwise you're going to miss the potential interest rates changing and you're going to miss september which is a great time for selling houses and why don't you while you're in australia let somebody take over it you have nothing to lose so oh gosh you know it is a bit daunting to have to start all over again especially with what we went through last time but I did a lot more research. So I've been watching the videos that Moving Home with Charlie uh, put out. <laughs> if you're moving home, you have to watch these. They are so good and so helpful. And following his advice, I did some research into all the local agents. So I basically made a whole list of them all, um, minus the one I had before, obviously. And I went on Right Move and I, I, I put in my area and then listed it from oldest listing. And then you can see then which agents have properties on the market for more than a couple of months um, and they're not sold. And some of them have them on there for two years. So I was like, and it's always the same few agents. That's That was what was really surprising. So cross those off the list. We don't want to be sat on the market for any longer than we need to be. Then I went on to Zoopla and you can there filter which properties have had price reductions on them. And the reason for doing that is we all know that agents like to come and overvalue your properties so that you go, oh, he thinks it's worth a million, let's go with them. And uh, then of course they end up reducing the price. So if there's an agent that's consistently doing that, you know that they're going to overvalue your property to get your business and you're going to never sell and um you the it's again it's the same agents it's the same few always doing it cross them off the list then what i did is i put a post up on one of the stratford upon avon forums and i just asked the question has anybody sold a house recently in the area and if so, what estate agents did they use and what was their experience? Who would they recommend? And I got back four that came out on top, which were also the four that seemed to sell the houses quicker than anyone else. So that helped narrow it down. And I contacted all four of them and I made appointments to see them all. I've met three so far free so far and I have one more to come round next week. Now I have to say the free that came round, what a breath of fresh air compared to what I went through before. There was no pushy sales tactics at all. And I had a list of questions I wanted to know how they 
how they would market my property so it stood out from all the others that were for sale in Stratford-upon-Avon, um, how they market better than other agents in the area, and how did they make sure that the process went through smoothly? I mean, are they just going to sit there and wait for the conveyances to do something? Are they actually going to keep on top of it? And they're the three things that were um, really key to me. Now, what the common thing amongst all of them was that my property was terribly marketed. Um, they said that like, there was things missing and they're like, there's no chain um, contract ready. Uh, I live in Old Town. Um, I'm in the best school catchment area, which I wouldn't have known because I don't have kids that go to school, so I wouldn't have known that. And all these agents were making these points, and I thought, God, blimey, my other agent never mentioned any of these. And um, so I have to say, it was a more positive experience this time. Now, of the three I met, I have to say, I think all of them would have done um, a good job, but one, but one in particular did sort of stand out to me. Um, and I can't quite put my finger on why. Maybe it was a personality thing. Um, I just felt more at ease and more confident with them and I kind of believed what they were telling me more. And I don't really want to disrespect at all the other two because I think they, you know, they were marvellous with me too. And it, I think it's a feeling you get for people, isn't it? But I feel more confident. But I'm not making my decision yet. I'm waiting to meet the fourth one, who is highly rated by lots of my friends. So um, let's see what they say. And then I will make my decision next week. Now, I did say to them, um, you know, and they had a good look where my house, and I asked specifically, you know, what do I need to, you know, change? And one of them gave me a whole long list of, like, paint this wall and do this and do that. And I appreciate that feedback, I really do. Um, the others were more, not so much things to do, but way to stage things. And uh, anyway... I really hope I don't make a mistake again because I really can't afford to. The other thing I did was I spoke to um, a rental company. So he's actually a friend of mine. He's a gym member and I've known him for years. And he owns an agency that just provides landlord services. And he's um, given me all those details. So that is... An he explained to me more about the tax situation and... Also, his fees were not as high as I thought it would be to be fully managed. And uh, they was telling me how I could get insurance to make sure I get my rent guaranteed. And he made, you know, made it not a impossible solution if I'm unable to sell my house and need to wait for the market to like, boom again. I will say, every single agent that came round said, for Stratford-upon-Avon, there has been no lull in the, the amount of property that's been sold. Um, this is because we kind of live in a bubble here and the Midlands isn't as affected as some of the other parts of the country. They all said the same, but who knows. Anyway, that's where my head is at at the moment. And... Uh, I know I said I would be concentrating on going to Australia, um, but I have to listen when the wiser people speak to me. It wouldn't it be great if they could find me a buyer? And because it the conveyancing is taking up to twelve weeks now, twelve weeks to it's a piece of flipping paper. I don't understand it. Anyway, that's taking a long time now. So even if I sold it, I'm still going to be here till what February next year. So maybe he was right, I should start now. I don't feel as stressed this time about it all. But I have been still working on cleaning the house up and making it look as big as possible. I'm actually going to paint my skirting boards this weekend. When I moved the village, I thought, oh dearie. <laughs> I don't like those, so I'll give those a paint. Yes, so it's, Start again.
let's hope we have a better experience. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you're selling a house, I really advise you watch Moving Home with Charlie. Uh, it's got some great videos on that. It's got some great videos if you're a buyer. Um, it's just no-nonsense talk, great ideas on how to pick the right agent. Um, yeah, give him a watch, definitely. And don't do what I did the first time. Don't pick the first one because... You fall for the marketing bluff and don't sign the contract straight away. And if you do sign the contract and they don't give you a copy of it and they are as bad as mine are, then just threaten to take them to the ombudsman because they didn't give you your cancellation rights. They'll soon let you off. <sighs> well, nice to see you all and um, I'll keep you updated. I'll let you know what number four is like.